Hello, my name is Charlotte Ling and I'm a professor in epigenetics and diabetes at Lund University Diabetes Center in Sweden. We just published a paper in Science Translation of Medicine with the title Epigenetic Markers Associated with Metformin Response and Intolerance in Drug-Naive Patients with Type 2 Diabetes. Now I will uh, present some of the data we found in this paper. So, type 2 diabetes is the fastest growing disease worldwide and it is therefore a major public health problem. Patients with type 2 diabetes are characterized by chronic hyperglycemia and it is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease including myocardial infarction and stroke. It is therefore very important that patients with type 2 diabetes receive an optimal therapy. Metformin is the first-line treatment for patients with type 2 diabetes. However, approximately 30% of all patients with type 2 diabetes do not respond to metformin, and approximately 20-30% to do not tolerate the drug. But currently, there are no biomarkers or phenotypes that can predict who will respond to and who will tolerate metformin therapy. Therefore, the goal of our study was to identify blood-based epigenetic biomarkers that could predict who will respond to and who will tolerate metformin. To do this, we analyzed DNA methylation genome-wide in blood from newly diagnosed drug-naive patients with type 2 diabetes from three different cohorts, including Andis, Andiu and Optimed. We found blood-based epigenetic markers that differed between patients that respond to and do not respond to metformin, as well as those who do not tolerate and tolerate metformin. We found that greater DNA methylation was associated with an increased risk of not responding to and not tolerating metformin. Overall, we found blood-based epigenetic biomarkers that could discriminate between patients who respond to and do not respond to metformin and also those who do not tolerate and those who tolerate metformin. This promising epigenetic tool may be further developed to help patients with type 2 diabetes receive an optimal therapy and it may be used for personalized medicine.